Dear Misty, my boyfriend and I are in a loving, happy relationship. However, as we approach our senior year, I'm very nervous about him going off to Harvard and forgetting all about me. I truly love him, and I don't know if I should follow him to Boston. I'd like to pursue a career in acting, which I can do there, but should I? Asked by Maxine. All right, Miss Maxine, yeah, God. Ask every adult person that you know and love and or trust and ask them how different their life was in high school. Ask them what they think of their high school boyfriends and or girlfriends now. Ask them if they think that in a perfect world, if they would still be dating their high school boyfriend and girlfriend. And I am willing to bet you 99.99 people are going to tell you that their lives are so different, so much better, and they're very thankful that they are not with their high school sweetheart. Very few people marry their high school sweetheart and go into an adult life, and many of them end in D-I-V-O-R-C-E. Because unfortunately, when you are in high school, you're in a bubble where everything you live and breathe and eat and absorb is high school. You don't have bills. You don't have responsibility. You live at home and all your time is spent with this person. You know, my advice to you is, yes, you are truly in love with him and you're in a happy, loving relationship. That could last forever. It truly, really, really could. And if you are soulmates, you don't have to be in Boston to be soulmates. If you are soulmates, when he comes back on spring break and Christmas break, he's going to want you just as much as he did wherever you are. If he goes off to Harvard, you should go off to school too, but maybe New York, which by the way, is not far from Boston. It's literally a driving distance, like not even a whole day. It's a couple hours. Maybe go to New York acting school. Why not? But I think that most importantly, instead of living your life around your boyfriend right now, you need to live your life around you, whether that's at an acting school in California or an acting school in Utah or an acting school in New York. But you need to focus on you. If acting is your career and your passion and your love, you need to do that. And if he loves you and he goes off to Harvard, he's going to support you in that decision as well. Hopefully your spring breaks will sync up and your Christmas breaks will sync up and you can meet each other back at home. And if anything, you'll remain best friends for your life. If you do move on and fall in love with one of your co-actors or guys in your school, and if he falls in love with somebody at his school as well, it could happen. But I am telling you that if it's meant to be, it will be. No matter where you live. I don't believe in long distance relationships to start. Yes, you can be pen pals, but until someone becomes real, they're not real. He is real to you, and I do think that real love and true love can survive a long distance break. Think of military wives. How many of these girls lose their husbands to war and overseas? Do their husbands come back to them? Yes, they do. You know, it's possible. But no, if it were me, I would break up with him before he went off to school telling him, look, I don't want you to think about me every day. I don't want you to Skype with me every day. I don't want you to let me hinder you as you are pursuing your life and your dream. But if I am your soulmate, I want you to come back to me. But I think we should end it now. That's what I would say. Granted, it takes two to tango, and he would have to agree or not agree to break up. But I think he would understand that what's best for him is best for both of you, and maybe to have a break or separation. And then readdress it on spring break or Christmas break or whatever. Be like, oh my god, I can't stop thinking about you. All I think about is you. But if you stay home and he goes off to school, the chances of him being distracted and growing and developing more as an adult and as a student, as a person, as a career, as a Harvard whatever, 
and are high, and if you stay home at wherever you live, you're always going to be surrounded by what you're already comfortable with and environment that you definitely know, and you're going to be fawning for him, wishing he was there, and he's going to be busy and distracted. So if he goes off to Harvard and you really, really want to stay boyfriend, girlfriend, I would go off to wherever you go off to because then you could both be newly in weird strange environments and that would be something for you to talk about hey what's new nothing mom is mad as always dad's watching TV hashtag my life is boring you don't want to hear about it but if you go up to school oh my god I have a new teacher and we did this new um, th acting thing called the method and I really think I like method acting and you tell him a little bit about it and he can tell you a little bit about his studies that would give you stuff to talk about.